Well, the cool thing is that the lenders I will be talking to you today about, they not only will release funds 72 hours after approving you, within 72 hours after approving you, they'll also allow you to apply using EIN only. And also, if you, if you, have, if you have no income proof, they'll accept you also. So those are great lenders. And so I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you had to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to share with you EI and only no income proof massive business loans. Here are five lenders that release funds 72 hours after approving you. Number five, we have BHG Money. Our score. 7.9 over 10. So when you think about BHC money, not only they will uh, allow you to uh, apply it using EIN only, you can also, uh, if you have no income proof, that's fine. They will look at your uh, your bank statements, okay? And uh, so the minimum amount here is $20,000, the maximum amount, a quarter of a million. And the loan term, one to 12 years, fantastic. Now, what we love with, the, with uh, this lender, BHG money, is that you can apply using EIN only, or you can you can apply using your personal FICO score. If you want to apply using your personal FICO score, the minimum credit score six sixty. Okay, and the APR starts at the seven point nine nine percent. Okay, so if you have no income proof, it's okay. But they would want to see your bank statements, your business bank statements. Okay, and here are the pros and cons of this player here: business or practice ownership not required, no hard annual revenue or time in business criteria, and they have multiple loans. Uh, you know that they can actually offer you now approval may take up to three days that's fine and some loans have prepayment penalty and they don't report on time repayments to credit bureaus okay so when we think about bhd money rates uh, let's say fees and terms let me just say that you want to think about twenty thousand to a quarter of a million okay rates that start at 7.99 percent and terms that range from uh, one to 12 years. This is kind of cool though, okay? This is a legit lender. They have uh, they have received accolades on uh, on trust pilot, on triple uh, B, okay? And uh, just make sure that you have no bankruptcies in the past year, okay? And uh, so the application works in a very simple way. So you submit the application and require documents. You will receive a decision in as little as 24 hours. You sign your loan documents if you're happy with the offer, and it may take 72 hours for them to grant to for you to for you to receive the funds, okay? And make monthly payments. That's it. You have to pick the due date, though. You have to pick a date that works for you. Number four, we have here Kalamata Capital Group. Our score, 8.4 over 10. So when you think about Kalamata, I want you to think about a very nimble, a very uh, flexible lender, okay? Uh, with them, the pros and cons, the borrower qualifications are lower than traditional banks. The application process is fast and easy, okay? And uh, funds are dispersed quickly. That's very cool. And customer service is easy to reach, okay? One thing we have found, uh, and this is on the draw drawback side, is that rates can be expensive, really. I mean, they are just charging like crazy. They have crazy rates, okay? Some additional fees are charged. No long-term uh, financing options available. And the website advertising is kind of misleading a little bit, okay? So when you think about Kalamata, I want you to think first and foremost about MCA. This is what they do. They are based in Maryland, by the way. And uh, they actually focus on um, MCA, a merchant cash advance. So if you love this kind of, uh, let's say, this kind of uh, credit products for your your business it's fine so when we talk about merchant cash advance they really don't need any kind of uh, income proof not at all okay and they are really fast in terms of uh, releasing the funds okay and one thing I want to see here is that you need to understand that in some cases they might ask you to have a personal guarantee 
if you do not apply using EIN only, which is why we always say you want to use EIN only, okay, so that you can uh, segregate your personal affairs from your business affair, from your business's affairs. Really important. So the application process is very simple, okay. You have a soft a soft credit check online you see what you you can qualify for and uh, they will actually once you actually enter your data your business data and your personal data Kalamata will send you um, a quote will send you an offer or several offers depending on the state you're applying from and depending on the strength of your business loan application and uh, if you love the offer if you're comfortable after talking to a rep, if you're comfortable with the offer, the terms and all and whatnot, then you go ahead to the next level, which means that they will do a hard pull on you. And if they everything is fine, they will actually send you send you the money within 72 hours, 72 hours. And in terms of uh, your um, the proof, you don't need to provide any, any income proof because they will be. Remember, an MCA is based on your sales, right? On your credit card sales or debit card sales so they will base everything on the sales so uh, there's no need to provide a proof of uh, income such as you know you can see it in an income statement or you know project the sales you don't have to okay they are important so Kalamata Capital Group our score 8.4 over 10 number three we have here Toro Capital. Our score 8.6 over 10. So when you think about Toro, I want you to think about a very innovative business funding provider. We love the fact that they they have been they, they actually they are the new kid on the block really because they actually started doing business in 2016, but 2015 rather 2015. But they are very very specific. They are very focused. We love that, and they are very innovative. It's very good. I mean, they focus on small businesses, new businesses, and even startup businesses without uh, without revenue. This is really good. Okay, and what we love about uh, Toro is that you have fast approvals. Okay, you have availability of funding, flexible lending options, flexible terms, funding for startups. This is really good. And uh, they have uh, stellar reviews on, on the internet. So what I want to say here is when you think about Toro Capital, I want you to think about the fact that they are available. I mean, they, they can fund you all the way to uh, $750,000, okay? $750,000. They are available in all 50 states. This is really good. So there is no geographic limitations when you really think about it. And uh, they have flexible terms. They even fund startups. I, I told you that before. So if you're looking for funding for your startup, they can actually fund you from $25,000 to twenty to $125,000. This is really good. Okay. And one thing I want to say here is that Toro, even though they're new, in other words, they, have, they haven't been around for a while. They still, they're still kicking ass. Okay. One thing I just need you to make sure you have is they're not asking you for a proof of income, but one, t they will want to have uh, your bank, your business bank accounts. They want, they want to actually link their system to your big, to your business bank account, or they might ask you to provide the last three bank statements, business bank statements for them to review you. That's all it is. Okay. But you don't have to provide any traditional form of uh, income verification like such as the PNL, the statement of profit and loss and all that kind of stuff okay and one thing i want to say here is that toro is very um, responsive yeah so make sure that whatever you whatever um, whatever like uh, method of uh, reaching you you have given them make sure that you check that method really clear clearly like they can communicate via email they can communicate via sms if they want additional info, they will reach out to you. So make sure that you are ready to go. Okay. And they will approve you within, they will release the funds within 72 hours. Number two, we have here Balboa Capital. Our score, 9.1 over 10. Now, when you think about Balboa Capital, I want you to think about an online lender, okay? And, and the cool thing about Balboa is that uh, they provide small business loans and equipment financing, okay? And like alternative lenders, you can apply online for funding and receive funds within uh, three days, okay? And in return, though, you can expect high interest rates and a frequent repayment schedule, okay? This is something you need to think about because um, they might ask you to actually uh, repay them like every week, not every month, because this is what it is, okay? And so they have a soft credit check, hard credit check, 
And one thing I want to say here is that when you think about Balboa Capital business loans, I want you to think about short-term loan, equipment financing, and line of credit. Okay, so they'll let you access the funding you need based on your business needs. Okay, so when you talk about short term loans, you have 5,000 to a quarter of a million. The term three to 18 months, okay, and the interest rate 1.1 to 2.2 to 1.2 factor rate. Okay, and to qualify for this uh, short term loan, they want you to have annual revenue of $300,000. If you cannot prove it, do you need to provide bank statements? Okay, so they can see your cash inflows and cash outflows, and your personal. There's no minimum personal credit score, and time in business one year. Okay, and uh, for the Balboa Capital uh, Equipment Financing, loan amount up to a quarter of a million, loan term two to five years. Okay, for the Balboa actually uh, business line of credit, five thousand to a quarter of a million, and the loan term six to eighteen months interest rate 1.1 to 1.2 factor rate okay so in terms of balboa capital uh, borrower eligibility here they actually um finance a lot of a lot of industries but they do have some restricted industries you need to be aware of so they don't actually lend to oil and gas extraction durable they don't lend to businesses operating in oil and gas instruction extraction durable medical businesses adult entertainment gambling lottery casinos aviation and boats okay it's just something that they don't do so if you are if you are in those industries you just want to uh, maybe uh, rethink your strategy you're not going to get uh, funding from uh, balboa capital but the cool thing is hey listen there are gazillions of uh, alternative lenders out there so if you don't find the the funds through uh, balboa you can look elsewhere i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about uh, EIN only, no income proof, massive business loans. Here are five lenders that release funds 72 hours after approving you. So I already gave you four lenders. Now let's talk about the last one. So Bees to Credit, number one. Bees to Credit. Our score, 9.4 over, over 10. And this is a great... Uh, platform actually you know so it is a platform it is a marketplace lender they were created in, in 2007 so they've been around for a while now okay nearly 15 years and we love the fact that they have actually a network of financial institutions so your loan your loan um i would say the loan pool here is bigger okay so they do everything they do um, mcas merchant cash advances they do small business administration they do uh, loans. They do business line of credit, real estate financing, equipment financing, okay, equipment financing, and they actually do disaster loans and so on and so forth. So you have a large constellation of loans that you can get through uh, this to credit, okay. And what are their loan terms, uh, fees, and discounts? It really depends on the states you're applying from, and also depends on uh, the lender you are working with. Remember, this to credit itself does not actually lend money to you. It goes through. I would say lending partners, right? Which which will actually that will actually give you the loan that you need and deserve. So, in terms of the criteria, they want you to be actually uh, to have at least monthly revenue of ten thousand dollars, okay? And uh, if you are looking for an industry specific loan, base to credit might be the right place for you. I also want to say that. Uh, that the business of credit can actually uh, release funds within uh, 24 hours, not 72 hours, but 24 hours. So they were really fast. As soon as everything is fine, you have the paperwork, you have uh, all the right proof and everything. They will release funds to you uh, as soon as possible, and they want to. They will accept your uh, business bank statements. Okay. If you, so if you don't have a uh, proof of income, but you have bank statements, this should this should be really good to go. Okay. Because the bottom line is, base to credit wants to make sure that you have you will have the liquidity to pay whatever to pay whatever loans you take out it's all about that responsibility when it comes to uh business to credit before actually uh, close to this conversation let me get let me have an overview here so how do you get a no income proof business loan with ein only 
Well, first thing is, it's important to understand what the lender is looking for, right? Because you can actually uh, you can actually apply for several loans and be denied severally. But if you learn first to understand what the lender is looking for, it's a lot easier to actually uh, be approved. Okay, and you have to decide also what type of financing you need, because you know we talked about no income proof massive business loan okay that's that's a business loan but what type of business loan are you looking for this is something you have to actually answer yourself you need to find out how to get approved okay if there is a pre-approval link you want to follow through that link okay and uh, you want to gather documentation it's a really important find a lender that actually uh, will cater to you and you want to fill out the application now what we talk about what lenders are looking for lenders are looking for time in business your personal credit score is important to them your business credit scores if applicable right your cash flow situation your cash inflows and cash outflows this is really important your collateral and the industry you're in so they kind of pay attention to those things okay and uh you need to decide what type of loan or financing you need actually so do you want a, an SBA loan, a traditional bank loan, a micro loan, an online loan, a line of credit, a business cash advance, a business credit card? Now, business credit cards are not really a form of a no income proof business loans, but you, you get the gist, right? Are you looking for vendor financing? So you got to be really clear about what you're looking for. OK, and uh, so the bottom line is you want to find out how to get approved. Yeah, because uh, some lenders can pre-screen your application with a few questions and you'll get a yes or no within minutes and they will have to provide additional information to find out how much you will get and uh, what you will pay in interest and fees. So if you have a, let's say, you want to constantly go the pre-approval route, right? Even if you have an, a no income proof business loan application, go the pre-approval route just to test the waters, okay? And um, you certainly don't have to provide, in, let's say, proof of income. However, you have to provide other information, right? Things like uh, business and personal credit scores, business bank account statements, I told you about that, tax returns, and supporting IRS documents for both your business and personal tax returns, okay? Other financial uh, statements as, uh, you know, that you believe are important. This could also be a, um, a great item on your paperwork and sometimes you can actually uh, impress the lender by showing business forecast data and documentation you can actually show documentation of your future uh, activities within the, within the company before I close today's conversation let me give you a few pro tips okay when you, when you are looking for, if you want to choose a lender, because you need to choose a lender, right? You want to choose the right lender. You want you can go with direct lenders, lending marketplaces, or P2P, peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, okay? So those are the good, because when we talk about no-income-proof massive business loans, we're not talking about credit unions and uh, banks. No, we're speaking about alternative lenders, okay? And you want to uh, decide whether or not you want to go for peer-to-peer -peer or lending marketplaces or direct lenders it's totally up to you okay it's totally up to you and you want to fill out the application now most of them they you, you can only uh, fill out the application online okay and they will actually tell you what to do and uh, they will um, it's very simple they will do a soft credit first to see if you qualify and then they will do a hard credit okay so it's really important to really have a clear idea of what you want to do and what we talk about no income proof massive business loan make sure that you have perfect credit you need to have perfect credit okay for the bank for the lender to actually uh, to to actually uh, look at you as a, as a as a as less of a risk if you will okay one thing i want to say here is that um you need to understand also how much you need and i'm not saying just throwing a number out there no you have to do the number, the, the, the calculation beforehand and say, you know what, based on my profit, based on my situation right now, this is what, this is how much I need. OK. And this is something you have to do constantly to make sure that you are OK. And don't forget, don't forget to have your financial statements simply because you cannot prove your income doesn't mean you cannot prepare financial statements. Even if the statements are on a projected basis, you can you are still one step closer to being approved because the lender will want to see some kind of documents. They want to see some kind of uh, some kind of documents. Yeah. 
okay and your personal financial and your business financial statements are very important in that regard and by business financial statements i'm speaking about your balance sheet your uh, statement of income your statement of uh, owner's equity and your statement of um, of cash flows okay so those four constitute the fulcrum upon which you want to base your uh, your application and if you do that if you do a good job at that you should be fine in some cases if, if you want to e even uh, impress the um, you know the business lender more you can actually uh, craft a detailed business plan that shows how your business is playing on making money this is very important All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. Before I do a recap, please check out this uh, short loan evaluation approach video. We have a strong method on this show when it comes to uh, ca categorizing, reviewing, and listing loans and uh, personal loans, business loans and personal loans. <laughs> Here's a recap. Number five, bids to credit, 9.4 over 10. Number two, we have Balboa Capital. Okay, Balboa Capital. Our score, 9.1 over 10. Number three, we have Toro Capital. Our score, 8.6 over 10. Number four, Kalamata Capital Group. Our score, 8.4 over 10. And number five, BHG Money. Our score is 7.9 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay Marvelous. <laughs>